who will be crowned Mzanzi's next cooking star? The search continues right here on Color Your Plate with Ku. Moloeni. Moloeni, okay, guys, to our final four potential cooking stars for round one. So my name is Nozi Ponjingila. I'm 36 years old, all the way from Fosloras in Ekoruleni. I am a freelance writer, writing stories on emerging farmers around my community. Writing evoked my love for the knowledge about food. The more I got to know about food, the more I wanted to eat it, and the more I wanted to cook it, which is what brought me here today, so that I can impart that knowledge. I'm Matadzi Mate. I am a qualified pastry chef, and I'm from Atrangeville in Pretoria. I have been a pastry chef for 10 years now, and stuff I like making anything, with sugar. I like making desserts. I like working with chocolate and I love ice cream. I am Mobile Mabaso. I'm a 25 year old from Everton West around the Valley in Gauteng. I'm an educator. Also, I am a self taught chef. I own a kitchen called Mobile's Kitchen and also I open a bakery in the near future. I'm Boitoko Mulewa, I originate from Pretoria and I'm a culinary enthusiast from Pretoria. I'm a chef by nature and an adventurer by heart. So Ku is basically a sort of a, an adventure on its own which will drive me further to become a chef who's more into the culinary arts. It, it feels quite exhilarating to be on Kala Your Play with Ku season 3. Now this show is about showing Mzansi families how to make creative, nutritious and healthy meals for Usapolwabo. Matatsi, you are beaming with the excitement there. Tell I'm us. excited. <laughs> <laughs> After today's challenge, only one of you will make it through to the next round, joining our top six. Now, making it through will also put you closer to that grand prize of 75,000 Rand in cash from Ku. Sure, there's 75,000 Rand in cash for the winner. It could change my life. I could finish up paying my mobile container that I laid by earlier this year. It could change my life for the better. As well as a Thermomix TM6 premium set worth more than 40,000 yes. Rand. And this is the <laughs> ultimate yes. kitchen appliance, I yes. promise you. It is. I would love to take home the Thermomix. I want that. This is how it's going to work. Each contestant will receive a mystery box with the same ingredients. The box will also contain today's Hiroku product as well as other few ingredients. Mm -hmm. You have to use all the ingredients in your mystery box. How you do it, it's completely up to you. Ruben, are you ready to open the mystery box? Open up, open up. Open up. You ready? Yes. Open up. Chicken or beef, anyone? <laughs> you guys are lucky today because you can use either or the beef or the chicken. The only thing is, we are not looking for aeroplane food. Nope. Yep. Okay. And in addition to the protein, you'll also have these ingredients. Ooh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Avocado and peanut butter. What? Today's Ku cool hero ingredient is our Ku cool butter beans. Ku cool has many different beans options, and the convenience of Ku cool butter beans make all the difference when you are preparing a tasty, filling, and nutritious meal. And not forgetting they are protein packed. Mm. And you also get avocado, black cat peanut butter, and jungle oats, the large oat flakes. Um, the jungle oats and the peanut butter are gonna be a bit of a challenge for me, especially the jungle oats. I'm gonna wing it. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how we're gonna make it work, but it's gonna work. So your challenge today is about creating a light and easy lunch. Think about when your kids are at home or when you go out with your friends, when you want to enjoy something light, easy, well-balanced and, of course, delicious. 
I would rate my balancing and flavor skills as a 10 out of 10 because I not only test what I actually made before, but I also actually put a lot of myself inside that designated flavor as well. So I hope that the, the judges will also feel as well. Chef Ruben is going to do a masterclass for you just to inspire you and give you some ideas on what to cook when that hour starts. Are you ready for the masterclass? How are you feeling, guys? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, Let's do it. I feel so worried about that other mystery box. What's worrying you in the mystery box? I mean, avocado and uh, jungle oats, and yeah, it's an odd combination. Yes, but then this means that your creative juices start working and you give us something beautiful. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's why we do the masterclass, to help you with some inspiration. Yeah. Okay? Let's do it. Grown in Mzanzi for you. Koo's tasty and convenient butter beans. Perfect for your stews and salads. Koo, only the best will do. Contestants, I don't know about you, but I'm always looking for wholesome and delicious meal ideas. And I like that today Ruben is going to show us on how to achieve that using ingredients that you'll easily find in your kitchen cupboard. I think Ruben is yeah. going to tell us Thanks, what he's Arthur. making today. We're obviously looking for something light and easy. That's exactly what we're going to be making using the ingredients that you got in your mystery box plus a few other ingredients, okay? So we're going to start by making a savory granola. Mm. You know, because normally you get granola for uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's normally kind of sweetish mm -hmm. and you'll have it with yogurt and honey and things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Oof, oof, getting a master glass from Ruben is actually quite exciting and exhilarating to actually witness such excellent and articulate creativeness on a plate from the Ruben himself, so looking forward to it. I kind of like the, the crunchiness of it. Yeah. I think it sort of crisps up nicely. Okay. I think it just sort of allows you to toast it nicely and then you pick up that nice yeah. sort of toasty flavors. So you can add nuts, you know, a variation of nuts, for example. We're adding pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Mm. Got some sesame seeds here. Also, we're adding our butter beans. Wow. Mm. So we've already drained the butter beans. Now, there's two ways of making it. You can also kind of deep fry it, or you can just sort of slowly dry it in the oven. So Arthur, if you can get us one garlic clove. On the microplate. On the microplane, and then you can just grate it over. Okay. It needs a bit of seasoning, so I'm doing just a bit of salt. Can I? Yeah, thank you. Okay, Arthur, we just want garlic in there, no finger. No fingers. <laughs> I'm always careful. There we go. Granola and butter beans seem like two unconventional products or ingredients to put together. I never would have thought of incorporating them together in any way to make anything. So this goes into our, like a drying oven. So let's say the heat's about 100 degrees Celsius, so not too high. That will take um, about, I would leave it in there for about 45 minutes to an hour, you can always just check it. You know, the, obviously the idea is to dry it all out. Arthur, so... Okay, teaching we, us how to make the pepper steak. Yeah, nice. we're gonna go with the steak. So, nicely peppered steak, so it's not just seasoned, it's peppered. That's a lot of pepper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are we gonna add salt or just pepper? No, no, we're gonna add salt, but not okay. as much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other side as well. Is it not polarizing though to have such a lot of black pepper? I mean, pepper steak. Hmm, I don't know if I want to eat the peppercorns while I'm well, you're enjoying my dish. It's either crushed pepper. It's never a whole peppercorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Arthur. Before we season, I like to cut into the fat. Mm. Is that so? It renders the fat quicker. Yeah. Listen, think about it. When you cook a steak, if you take your time rendering out the fat, how much more does that add to the, the taste of the steak? Mm. A, a lot more. Yes. So it's not just about making it crispy, it's also adding to the taste. Mm. Salt goes in there. Arthur, then a bit of uh, olive oil there for us, please. Okay, cool. So we put the olive oil, no, no, no. Onto oh, the steak, on the steak. Arthur. Okay, onto my the steak, bad. Arthur. Let me go back. Okay. <laughs> Can I just drizzle it over just, the steak? Just a tiny bit over. Tiny bit. Let me yeah. see. Tiny bit. There we go. There Is we go. Enough? That's enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on the other side as well. I hope I did a good job there. I mean, you were, na you were natural. 
The very thing that I'm learning in this masterclass is new flavors, new techniques, new ways of actually cooking, which I can also implement in my daily life as we speak. The sound the steak is making, ah, very nice. How do you like your steaks? Well done. Well done. Medium rare. Medium rare. Also medium rare. Medium rare. Medium rare. Okay, you voted out. Medium rare. <laughs> <laughs> you eat well done steak. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ata, how do you like your steak? Medium rare. Also medium rare. Absolutely. Lovely. I like you even more now. <laughs> I know you've always liked me. Get on with the steak now. Focus. Remember. Resting it for the same amount of time you're cooking it for is important, otherwise you lose all that the juice. nice juice that's in there. Lovely. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm. Beautiful colour. Mm. So okay, I think uh, we're close. I'm going to just put it here on our cutting board, Arthur, if you can just remove that. Okay. And then we'll start with our sauce. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. Why did you take out the juices from the pan? I, I want olive oil, I want that flavor. I don't want hot oil cooking down still in the hot pan because that keeps on burning the elements that's oh. in there. Okay. So a little bit cold oil, some onion. Arthur, we need a bit of garlic again, please. Oh, okay. One clove, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Grate it into the pan. Yeah. Okay. At least I'm um, doing something. Yeah, no, for a change. Doing more than something. Okay. Thank you. I've got some uh, beef stock here into our pan. This mm. is like a bit of a barbecue sauce. Mm. Okay. Now I'm going to add the black cat peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter into the barbecue sauce. And I'm loving the aromas mm. that are coming mm. through. It smells so good. Mm. So what consistency are you looking for? So I'm looking for something sticky. Okay. I, I'll show you what I'll do with the steak afterwards. Mm -hmm. It can be a steak that sort of, or a sauce that just sort of lies at the bottom of the plate. But I'm looking for something that kind of like can stick to the steak, you know, like I almost baste it. Like a paste. Yeah. So nice and sticky. Okay. The best tip that I'm taking away from this masterclass is temperature-wise, learning how to balance sauces and also the creation of different dishes as well. We're going to bring it all together, Arthur. Oh, so these are all the elements now. We have the granola going in the oven, we have the steak ready and the sauce is now ready. What else do we have? Arthur, there's more coming. Okay, <laughs> that balance plate is coming now. <laughs> okay, now, now I want that just to get coated in there, Arthur. Okay, so I think that's beautifully medium rare. Mm -hmm. I, I can taste it and I can <coughs> tell you it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the peppercorns? <laughs> that too. Okay. Okay, Arthur, let's uh, bring it all together on the plate. Okay. Our granola. Oh, wow. Oh. It's ready, so you can see nice and dried out. Wow, it's beautiful toasted. I've added to that uh, some Parmesan cheese. Mm, the flavor. Mm. Can you smell it? Mm. Nice. I am learning the different ways that you can use jungle oats in this masterclass. You can take something that we always use for breakfast and just make it into something different, like a, a savory granola or, you know, that's, that was very interesting for me. I, I never would have thought to make that. This is a, a little avo, tomato and onion salsa. Mm. So it's, uh, we added a dressing made with whole grain mustard, some balsamic vinegar, some olive oil, a little bit of honey. You can also put lettuce in there, the crispy lettuce. Mm. Wow. Then we have our butter beans and our oats. Oh, over the salsa. Oh. Ooh. Adding a different dimension of texture yeah. and flavors, of course. Mm. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's taste. I'm going to add more sauce for you, ne? for the well done. The steak. That's all I can say. I see you are nodding. <laughs> is it a yes? <laughs> the crunch is nice, eh? Mm. The textures. Mm. 
Um, yeah, the pepper bites, eh? <laughs> it tastes so good. It tastes just as good as it looks. But I can taste the peanut butter in the sauce and it makes so much sense. I think when it comes to um, your ingredients like peanut butter because it can overpower. Tone it down with other ingredients, whether it's mustard, whether it's a bit of uh, sweet and sour elements. Your talent has to come to the fore in terms of how you bring those type of things together. Yeah. Okay, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go. Cookware supplied by Chef Diversitas. State-of-the-art German technology reduces energy consumption by up to 20%. Koo Butter Beans, a delicate flavor that complements a wide variety of dishes. Color your plate with Koo. Contestants, you have one hour. Langutamar, are you shaking me? Are you big? Are you yellow? Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, ready, steady, color your plate. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Well, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. What I'm basically making is a uh, oats and cheddar crisp, basically, and I'm just gonna pop it in the oven just to give it a nice uh, crunchiness yes. on top of the seared steak that I'm gonna be making. This is a man with a plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He seems like he's focused enough. Yeah. How are you gonna cook this steak? Medium rare chef. Are you doing nothing to it? I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna cook it medium rare. Let, allow it to rest. Obviously, salt and pepper. Allow it to rest, and then I'm gonna end it off with some rosemary and butter. Keep going. Basically. <laughs> you want to take up your time? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No Good luck. Thank All right, you. My cousin, do me. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? That's good. I see your focus. Us test specs is alcohol, you're ready to go. What are you making for us? I think. Okay, you so think? Far, you know, it might change. Okay. okay. I'm making savory oats, like an Asian inspired savory oats. So it's going to have mushrooms, scallions, soy sauce. And then I'm going to make like a nice um, Thai peanut sauce that's going to dress the oats. Yeah. And since this is a savory challenge, you don't feel that you're getting pants, you're still strong. No, I'm fine. <laughs> you got, I think. I love the I confidence. Besides yeah. the fact that you're still thinking about your menu, I really like the confidence. I got there. this. You do? Yeah. I do. Yeah, and you're building, this. you're building flavors. Yes. So you're going to, I mean, that's what a baker does, they multitask. We do. Right? We do that. And yeah. we work fast. There we go. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, I'm also going to add in a soft poached egg for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. I got this. Okay, Matlati, good luck. We will be back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. I'm nervous. Why? Not sure. Because why not? At all. I'm um, in it to win it, but I know I'm not the only one, so yeah. <laughs> it is a competition after all. Okay, so where does the love for food come from? I know, I know I'm counting down the minutes. Yeah. So my love for cooking came about like as I was writing stories on emerging farmers in my community, right? Yeah. So I was um, like it evoked my love for, for food. Yeah. And the more I got to, to learn about food, yeah. the more I loved cooking it. Today, this challenge, you're talking about you know, butter beans. And mm. how are you taking this approach today? So, I grew up in butter beans, right? Oh. So, yes, my mother used to cook it for us yes. with uche. Eh? Mm. So, yeah. yeah. I'll be using it to make a warm chicken and butter bean salad. Okay. I really love food that's got a story behind it. Yes. Okay. And we hope we're going to be seeing the story on your plate today. You will. Trust me, oh. you will. Okay, we trust you. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Get on with it. Ah, you shigere. Ah, you be. Ah, you shigere. Hi. How is she? Hi, How is she? Oh. <laughs> 15 minutes has gone. Yeah, so. How far are you? I cannot say that I'm really done, but I'm halfway through. So that's it. Yes. 
Okay, we're done. Continue. So uh, I am making onion rings with my butter beans, chicken curry, yes. and onion rings and the, and the salad. Crunchy onion rings. I want them to be crunchy. That's why I'm using the jungle oats. Okay. Mm. Yes. Is it gonna stick? I, I'm just gonna add my eggs, then my salad, then we're good to go. You're okay. good to eat the magic. The magic. Yes. <laughs> I'm noting that down when I'm mobile. Mobile says magic. Yes. So we've made our rounds and I see that we've got chicken against beef today. And I must say, I like the way that they're rendering all their products together. They bring them together nicely. Won't have trouble um, with asking where each flavor is. I like the steak side, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of where they're going with the flavors. Mm -hmm. They also look like they are in, in control. In control. Yeah. They know where this is going. Yeah. The good thing is that they look like they're all confident cooks, ultimately, on how they're going to transport us mm -hmm. that flavor journey and also making the perfect balanced lunch. Ultimately, it's got a taste really nice. I know. <laughs> You see the chefs doing this. <laughs> this one's gonna land right. In the oven, I have a uh, Parmesan crisp, which is mixed with the oats. Next, I'm gonna do the guacamole. Guacamole, which is a Mexican dish, which is good, which comprise of avocado, uh, chili, and a lot of a uh, lot of love as well. <laughs> I've just taken out my oat crumbs. My oat crumbs are looking a bit dark. I might have to do them again. Mm. This is my savory oats. So this is oats, mushrooms, beef stock. I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut um, milk just to tie that in with like Thai flavors. I'm gonna add in a lot of garlic and ginger and also some scallion, which is green onion. <laughs> so we went past the halfway mark. How are you doing in terms of time? Uh, I'm very much on time. I just need to finish off my onion rings, then I'm plating. Buena. Nalo. Emma Pil. Okay. No, Nagy Shabanako. Quano. Dimlo. Dula. Okay, my magician. Let me leave you to it. Thank you. All right. How much am I Um. It's it's going, it's going. Uh, what's in here? Garlic. That's uh, garlic and chicken stock. Uh, time, please. Uh, yes, uh. yes, time. But it's it's okay. I'm confident that I'll still make time. Yeah. Um, I have about like 17 minutes left. The <laughs> avocado is not right though. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a smoothie. A what? A power smoothie. A what? A power smoothie. Okay. Okay, please explain to me where the power smoothie goes into your, in your meal. So it's going to be, um, it's a warm salad and butter bean uh -huh. um, dish with a power smoothie on the side. So... It's gonna have well, peanut just, butter inside? Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. All right, so I can move. Actually, I'm Okay. How's it going on that side? This side, they seem to be working nicely and gently. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see he's doing his steak now, just giving it a nice color. Mm -hmm. And Matlazi was making her avocado and butter bean mousse, which is coming nicely. Okay. And I think they have planned the times very well to, so that they can just uh, make sure that in the last 10 minutes, they start plating. Okay. So, not a lot of time left on the clock, and I was on that side there, on team shaking, and she's making a smoothie. So she's making her warm salad, chicken salad, and then a smoothie on the side. Smoothie with the ingredients we have today, is it because oats is there? Well, there's oats in it, there's milk in it, there's avocado, and mm. there's peanut butter. And Seems so, like an afterthought me too. of some sort. Yeah, because I think she just needed to use the ingredients that were left over and she put it in the smoothie. But as I'm not doing a man, I didn't know you to ban this avocado and peanut butter. Maybe it's in the oats. But it's a bunch of Perfect for a home style satisfying lunch. 
all as a good for you inclusion in your dinner. Koo Butter Beans, only the best will do. Contestants, you have 15 minutes left. 15 minutes to put that magic on that plate. Come on! Yes. Let's go, contestants. Let's, Let's go. go. Mm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking um, a, a smooth consistency because mm. of my textures, they're too much. Mm. But the flavors are flavoring. I love it. Flavors are flavoring. Are you using a scissor? Yeah. It's, it's easier and faster that way. It's easier with a knife, eh? It's easy. So you cut it. Yeah. So let me show you. Cut it into it like that. Like it comes that. Up okay. I think we might have to put it back in for, for like a minute or so. Contestants, you have five minutes on the clock. Five minutes. Five minutes to go, guys. Time to start thinking about plating. Mm. That's actually quite good. I've never had savory oats before. This is my first time. I'm making it for a competition. That's so, that's so wild. Is that the consistency you want? Yes. And the taste? What are you thinking? I let me plate. Oh, OK. <laughs> I think with the time that you have left, mm -hmm. my suggestion oh, okay. is cut it open. Yeah. Then, then in the oven, okay? Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna. I don't think you have enough time to wait. Yeah. Quick in the oven. So, Athenosipo, I was at a station just now. You could feel it's still sort of in the center, it's slightly undercooked. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you cook it on the bone, it uh, retains a nice lot of moisture. Yeah. Uh, it's just difficult to say yeah. whether it's gonna be done in time. Yeah, the timing wasn't right. Yeah. Contestants, one more minute to go. Come, Come on. on! I don't like the consistency. It's way too thick. Not saucy enough for me. The only thing that's, um, that's on my mind right now is making sure that I finish this uh, plating in one minute. 30 seconds. Sure. <laughs> Yay, I almost oh. forgot the stuff the meal. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop cooking! Well done, guys. Well done, guys. That was fun, actually. <laughs> Butter beans are still in the yeah. yeah. mm. Didn't make it onto the plate. That doesn't look good. I forgot to put my butter beans onto the plate. It is a hero ingredient and I'm feeling bummed about leaving it off. I'm thinking I might not make it to the top six. I think the challenge went well today. I think I mean, so. Everybody treated the ingredients differently. Yeah. I'm excited to taste what they came up with. I mean, it's between the chicken and the beefs. Yes, no? The age-old question. <laughs> <laughs> what we saw today looked balanced. Some way. I trust yeah. them. And different approaches to preparations of it so as well. So I think we'll taste four completely different types of dishes. Yes. And that's how we like how it. How we like it like that. So are we ready? Yeah. Let's ready go. to taste. Let's have the first dish. The very things that I expect and hope the judges enjoy in the dish are the sauces themselves. The chipotle sauce, the butter bean sauce, which will be complemented by the crisp and the meat itself, whereby it's a balance of flavors. Do me love we talk? Hello. No. <laughs> you don't need to be nervous anymore. He looks so nervous. I'm just nervous about the plating style, that's all. The flavors are there, I'm just nervous about the plating style. Mm -hmm. So what did you make for us? So what I made was a seared steak, which was complemented by a cheddar with oat crisp. And it, I added the butter beans, which I combined with peanut butter, cream, spicy guacamole, which is going to be complementing the potatoes at the bottom as well. Mm. That's a mouthful. It Sounds is. nice. <laughs> okay, we're going so to taste. taste. You know, look, 
looking looking at the plate first of all, I you know it was one of those plates where I couldn't anticipate the flavors. I didn't really know what to expect. The guacamole is quite spicy. I would say the elements are all there. I like that uh, the cheese element that you brought in. Definitely a lot of umami. I just feel it needs some freshness to kind of like bring about a bit more vibrancy to the dish. We saw go. I like that aftertaste of heat in the guacamole. I thought it was quite nice. I mean, also how you use the butter beans as well. And it just like bringing all these textures together really in a nice way. And the cook on the steak was also done beautifully. Mm. I enjoyed it. Uh, I saw where you were going with this. When you're talking about um, going Mexican, I, I got that. But in terms of a, a light lunch meal, I didn't really get that. I'm thinking maybe when, you know, I'm back to exercising, you know, uh, this would be my cheat meal, you know, uh, with my kids and sitting on a Friday afternoon. I really get that because I, I, it is a bit heavy and it needed something fresh on the side and, and a bit of color as well, adding a bit of greens there and there just to make it alive when it's on the plate. But honestly, I think you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank you. I would have definitely been able to put more color on the plates. I would say it was much more of a lightish color. I needed a bit of green, a bit of red, and a bit of more bright color. So definitely something to improve on. Why are you laughing when I say I'm going back to my exercising? Why is that funny to you? <laughs> Why is my health funny to you? <laughs> Why are wasn't you? That, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah? was, it was more I was like getting from you that you're saying after if I eat this then I must go to the gym you know that's what it I it is like, like a cheap yeah. meal because it's oily yeah. it's got the chips it's got um, that cheese there that went into the oven it's a steak mm. it, it is really that kind of a heavy meal I mean you'll be full after you eat it I am right proportions and the flavors were there mm. Mm. in terms of flavor I don't think it was well balanced but yeah yeah, let's have the next one. I don't know what to expect. What might taste nice to me might not taste nice to the judges, so it's very nerve-wracking. Hello. Hello, judges. Hello, Matlatsi. <laughs> Asian sensation. How was <laughs> something like that? <laughs> How was your time in the kitchen today? My time was very fun. It was nice. It was a great experience. I could tell. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> the clock was never really your, your, no, your enemy today. at you know? all. Mm. At all. Now it must just deliver on flavor. I yeah. hope it does. <laughs> I really hope it does. So, Matlaz, what did you make for us today? So, I made uh, savory oats with grilled steak and I also made a butter bean and evo puree. I toasted my oats as well to give uh, my meal a little bit of texture. And then on the side, you have a Thai peanut sauce and also poached an egg. Mm. <laughs> nice, we're going to taste. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, lovely. Beautiful. Just the way I like. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is never my fancy. Yes. Um when I'm a sort of dal. No. <laughs> not at all. It's not always easy that all these ingredients that we had today in the mystery box can converge in this beautiful way. I mean, today you show talent. I mean, that sauce, I thought it was a beautiful anchor. It's bringing everything together. Thank you. Your dish took me to restaurant quality. If I was to sit down at a restaurant and had that, I honestly wouldn't think twice about it. But I'm well done when I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> sure. awesome. Thank you so much. If you look at the amount of the oats on the plate, you, you know, the savory oats, you almost, you, you're like, no, man, that, it, that won't work, it can't work. But for me, the genius was, we are tasting every single element that's on the plate on its own, and it's clean, beautiful flavors. Beautiful work, well done. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks. Work of art. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take it away before you eat more. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy that all my elements work together because sometimes they can work well on their own and when you eat them together, they don't. But I'm so glad that everything was very nice and cohesive. 
you want to get when I have that plate? She respects food. Mm. She respects the art of making food and mm. you can taste that in that dish. She decided savoury oats is my thing. She decided on the mushrooms, yes. came out beautifully. All those flavours went well together. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. 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 Koo Butter Beans, convenient and tasty, made by the brand you love. Koo, only the best will do. Phew, my plate looks so good, I'm very happy. Phew, the judges are, I'm so stressed, but I'm just hoping for the best. Yeah, well, Moby. Oh, what was your favorite part of the challenge? It was making the chicken. Please take us through your dish. So in front of you judges, you have my butter bean chicken curry, my onion rings, a peanut butter puree, and a light avocado salad. Shall we taste? Oh, nice, okay. Is it cooked? Mm. It doesn't look cooked. It's very pink. Don't contaminate other things. Phew, the raw chicken is definitely going to affect me. I don't think the judges will take that lightly. Avila, how long did you cook the chicken for? For about 30 minutes. You can see it's still pink, eh? Yes, I can see. So we can't eat that? OK. It's unfortunate for the chicken because there's a lot of good flavors on that plate. The, the bean, the, the curry, the spice that you used in there was like really very good. I agree with Ruben. The flavors are really good. I mean, with the salad that you have there, together with the onion ring, it, it's, it's really nice because the onion ring brings a nice crunch to the dish. It's unfortunate that we couldn't eat chicken was, yeah, undercooked. The chicken curry spices were perfect. The flavor is perfect. I really wish I could have tasted the chicken. I mean, things happen in the kitchen. Things happen in life. And the mixtures of those flavors, uh, Wanema, you did really well, my love. Please be proud of yourself. Please be proud of yourself. Things happen. Things happen. So happy. Um, these are not maybe tears of, of sadness or whatnot, no. Yeah. I'm so happy because I managed to pull everything through um, under the pressure that I had and Today, it was my son's um, hospital appointment, so Mama. I left him, but then I'm sure he's going to be proud when he sees this. Yes. Yeah. How old is your son? He's three years old. Oh, oh man. Wow. He's going to be proud. You did yourself proud, and I'm sure your son will be very proud of it Thank as well. You. Really. Well done, Nana. Thanks, Nana. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, judges. Mama. I wanted to show young mothers around Zanti that nothing is impossible and also if you believe in your dreams you should go ahead and pursue them no matter the circumstances, no matter the pressure. I mean you can plan but when the chips fall, mm. they fall where they may. It was a beautiful dish. Yeah, mm. it was just a delight to eat. Okay? Yeah, next dish. Yep. I am happy with the rest of my dish. I seem to have put all the elements that I needed to complete it. And I can only cross my fingers and hope that whatever is in there co compensate for what is not. Sis Nozipo. Hello. What happened there at the end? Oh, I just um, forgot about my main ingredient, the stirring of the show. A butter bean? Yes. How? Kanjan. Um, so I ran out of time and I underestimated how fast time goes by, so... And do you feel the flavours you have in this dish would redeem that? Yes, because what you're looking at is basically me on a plate. It's um, flawed, it's incomplete, something is obviously missing, and that's just the thing about my life. That's a good thought. Good Because now you want to pull it out her strings, knowing very well about what butter bean up. Why would you so? Ah, it was like, the butter bean was cooked. It just, I forgot to plate it up. 
Mm. And Bonnie, because you were panicking towards the end there and you completely forgot the mm. it was there on the stove. But Mautabanga, this on the plate, do you think it might be enough to put you to the next round? The dish can still be enjoyed without it. Yeah. Tell us about what you made. Okay, that's um, a warm salad served with a power shake. What's powerful about the shake? The ingredients that are in it, it's peanut butter, avocado, and um, jungle oats. All right. Okay, I okay. think it's time to taste. Yes, please. Before I say something, so the mystery box and the ingredients. So the only thing you wanted to add into the warm salad was the butter beans. Yes. And the rest of the mystery box ingredients, you use them in the smoothie. The chicken is, yeah, it's in the salad. I mean, the salad is nice. I mean, the chicken is also nice, mm -hmm. but uh, for me, there isn't any elevation to your dish. Mm -hmm. And um, even though the chicken is there, I felt like it was just a salad that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. It didn't show any skill. The smoothie itself also, it just felt like it was an afterthought in terms of just um, putting all the ingredients that were left in the mystery box into one dish. Um, that wasn't close to being balanced at all. In terms of adding that special touch when it comes to flavor, you know, even the chicken and the, the love that you put in there, the flavors, the chicken doesn't have that. So it's unfortunate for you today, but it just didn't come together. Nozipo, Nozipo, yo, Dasekaya. You decided to go the health route. I can see with the, the fresh herbs that you used in your salad, it's really, really sad that those butter beans didn't make it onto the plate because I think it would have somehow brought it together. But today, it, it mm -hmm. and I understand you had an hour, but when it comes to this dish, we were in storyboard um, synopsis. We never made it to the movie. Yeah. Thanks, Nozipo. Thank you very much, Nozipo. Will you take that? I was not expecting that. Okay, it doesn't look like I am hearing what I was hoping for today, so I, it is not going so good. I think it's evident that when things started not going well, Nozipo is not able to shift the gear and, and really be in control now and not just take the ingredients and put them in a blender and it's almost blend like a, them together and, and, and think that it's going to and have points. Yeah. And maybe she was already felt completely out of her depth, you know, when she looked at those ingredients in terms of what am I going to do with all of that? She can probably only improve after this. Yeah. And the natural thing she did was put them in a smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> you will never forget that, will you? <laughs> Waiting to hear the verdict. I'm very nervous. I know I did pretty well, but I think all the others did well too, so I'm very nervous. The raw chicken is definitely gonna affect me, but I was so certain that it was well cooked because I didn't wanna overcook it. No one wants an overcooked chicken. It feels quite saddening at the fact that Chef Ruben did not necessarily enjoy the specific dish that I made, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to be giving up or anything like that. I'm definitely going to be pushing onward to meet his expectation. I feel so nervous right now. I forgot to put my butter beans onto the plate. It's uh, so nerve-wracking and um, yeah, I can only hope for the best. Today was all about balanced lunch. And well done on completing today's challenge. No zippo, mobile. You guys presented two very different dishes with two different approaches. I loved your health approach that you brought in there with the smoothie. I loved that homely approach that you brought in. You know, something that you have on a Sunday afternoon with the family. But you know that you did not have the hero coup ingredient that was supposed to be there. Mobile, your chicken was not cooked well enough. Therefore, the two of you are not going to be going through to the next round.
but congratulations for making it this far. I do not regret anything. I'm glad I came. It was my first competition and it was a learning experience for me. I don't think this is going to affect me, but I think it has elevated me from the next step, of which it's a step of growth. The future looks very bright. So bright I can see. We talk your dish was a textural delight, and I loved it. Klotzi, savory oats <laughs> with mushrooms. Ah, it was delicious. So the winner of today's challenge is... Mshlatsi. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Your abs girl outdid herself. I'm so happy. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. I did well. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Matlazi, but this doesn't mean that it's the end of my journey. It's just a milestone in terms of me becoming the chef that I know I can become. Very well done. As the winner of today's challenge, you win a chef diversitas cookware set with more than 10,000 rand. Ooh, thank Congratulations. You. <laughs> thank you. I, I believe in myself. I think I did pretty okay. Restaurant quality, you already know. <laughs> okay, my my top six, here I come. Inspiring Zanzi to be healthier and stronger with tasty, convenient and nutritious meal solutions. See you next week on Color Your Plate with Koo. Another feel-good production.